it. Thank you, Mrs. Hi, girly pop. This is a new location. Look at this book. Oh, she's licking my camera. Girl, this is my little Harry Potter corner. We're under a staircase right now. We've got a book nook because today I'm gonna be reading for the next 24 hours straight. If you've ever visited my channel for a time, you might notice there's a lot of different themes or if you actually keep up with the videos that I'm always choosing new hobbies and then doing them really intensely for a short period of time and then just kind of moving on from them. I'm not sure why I'm like this, but I am. And my current obsession is reading. My friend Lily let me borrow a book and from there I continue to buy every book. My entire TikTok feed is book talk. So I thought, why not? just read for the next 24 hours straight. I see no cons to that. You trying to say hello to Spa? So let's go get some caffeine and get the books I'm gonna read. I didn't make eye contact when he told me to have a good day. I think I've been reading too many books, guys. Anyways, it's 4 p.m. and I'm very tired, but we're about to go buy the books and I'm about to read for the next 24 hours straight. Straight, for the next 24 hours straight. I'm not scared at all. No, I'm actually so excited to start reading. Okay, we're at my favorite place ever, Barnes & Noble. I really don't know how many I should buy because what if I fly through four books? They didn't have the one book that I was gonna start first, which was Malibu Rising. I still got these four books and they're all pretty thick. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, Six of Crows. This is part of a series. I think it's a fantasy, which I haven't read fantasy since like fourth grade, I feel like. I got Verity and Ugly Love. Let's go home and get this party freaking started. I'm so excited. I posted a fun little book haul on TikTok. You guys kindly let me know that there's actually an entire trilogy I have to read before I'll understand Six of Crows. So that's pretty unfortunate. That information is actually false. You can read the Six of Crows duology on its own. Yes, my hair is purple. That's for next week. Please ignore. Oh, what? I thought this was a sticker. It's like on the book. Should we start? What time is it? 5.17. I think we should start exactly at 5.30. The first book I'm going to read. Ugly Love by Colin Hoover. I don't know why, I really just wanna read this first. I don't know what it's about at all. Hearts get infiltrated, promises get broken, rules get shattered, love gets ugly. I'm assuming it's like a dramatic romance. 523 and I'm going to start reading Ugly Love right now. I love starting a new book. The first line is, somebody stabbed you in the neck, young lady. Wait, I just got so panicked that I can't do anything else but do this for the next 24 hours. Could have sat anywhere. He put his boot right on my shoulder. It's 6:14. I'm on page 60. It's been 51 minutes, and I've read 60 pages. Although some of the pages are written in a way that's like shorter. So for my calculations, I read about a page per minute, at least with this book. But now it's time to feed Spock. But I can't stop reading. Can you film me while I feed Spock? But I'm not gonna stop reading. Yeah. Oh, actually, I did this in real life where I was reading, walking down the steps, and then I missed a step, and it hurt really bad. This is this is the step I missed. There's was no way that was real. No, it was. There's this no way the that was real. <laughs> Ryan, you read a book and go down these steps. This stuff is invisible. This right here like looks the yeah, same. Yeah, it does. That's kind of crazy. That was the same one. There's no that way was that was not, real. You're I swear kidding. on the Bible. I swear on the Bible. Oh my gosh. On the Bible, I was not being dramatic. Dang. You can't lie on the Bible. Okay, I can I can walk down the stairs without reading, okay guys? This is the second time I almost freaking die. Except I can change, but it's hard for me not to here. Close all my eyes. I'm trying to hurt so happy. What are you reading? What? What are you reading? Uh I set my uh, where's my spot? I set my book down beside me and readjust myself in the back seat. I, I have no idea what's going through his head. He never smiles, he never laughs, he doesn't flirt. His face appears as if he keeps his constant veil of armor between his expressions and the rest of the world. I've always been a sucker for the quiet types of guys. <laughs> Primarily. <laughs> 719. I cannot believe how fast two hours has flown by. I've officially reached the 200 page mark. I'm exactly on page 203 and the time is 841. So approximately three hours to read 200 pages. The book is very good. I chose a very good book to start with. It hasn't made this task difficult at all. I am hungry, so I'm kind of slowing down mentally and everything, but I'm about to get some penne alfredo in my system. <laughs> And 
here is my reaction to the last few chapters of the book. Watching myself cry while reading a book is possibly the funniest thing I've ever watched myself do. <laughs> Let's unpack what just happened here. It took me almost exactly five hours. Started at 5.24 and ended at 10.26. Every single book where people are like, you will cry your eyes out. This book is amazing. I was severely disappointed didn't cry at all. This book, however, a lot of people said they liked, although it's not like super high, it's not as hyped up, I feel like. So maybe I just had less expectations going in, but wow. I'm rating it five stars and I don't rate things five stars easily. I haven't rated something five stars since I was like in middle school and I loved Twilight. I understand the Colleen Hoover cult now. I love her and I'm so glad I got another book by her. <laughs> The difficulty now is starting a new book when it's 10, 36 p.m. and I would love to go to bed. And starting a book is always the hardest part. But next, I'm going to read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. It's 10, 40 p.m. Let's go. It's a hardcover, so. Curly pop. It's only 11 p.m. And it's crazy, like, not looking at your phone before nighttime. How you're own circadian rhythm and not looking at blue light and all that actually makes you tired by the time the sun goes down. I'm so much more tired than usual. This book is like hard to get into. Like, I don't get it. I want to go to bed so bad. Would you be mad at me for that? You know, like I'll still read a full 24 hours. I'll just like take that little break. <gasps> okay, whenever I'm not motivated to read a book, I'll like go read reviews and I just read a review saying that this is slow pace and that it's a love story with he who shall not be named. So I'm not really trying to read that in the middle of the night, if you know what I'm saying? What the freak? Guys, I think I'm just gonna go to sleep for a little bit and then wake up and continue. Ugh. Good night. Good morning. I also didn't realize I have an eyelash appointment today. And from the lash appointment on, I'll read straight. Like I won't take any more breaks. Starting at 8 a.m. exactly. Uh... It's been two and a half hours. I've chosen the slowest book on earth to read for this challenge. This challenge, I should have specifically chosen fast paced, engaging books. Two hours reading this book flew by while two hours reading this, I've read half as many pages. I'm on page 100. The plot has not thickened. It has not sped along. So I'm considering dropping it and starting, what's it called? Very late there. Oh, guys, I'm so tired. My brain is mush. The other Colleen Hoover book I got. Should I just read Twilight again? How about that? Bro. I just feel like I might have to scroll on Book Talk and see what else I should get from Barnes & Noble. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, this is getting difficult. Ah! I just scrolled on Book Talk and I saw one comment that was like, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is insane. And if I see one comment saying that, I have to keep reading the book just to find out if I agree or disagree. I just have to. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm having decision fatigue. Because then I could also just start very... Ver I guess, I don't know what I want to do. I need to make a decision and stick to it, but this book is freaking boring me. But what if it gets entertaining in like 50 pages and I'm going to regret this? I'll read you a page. Paris, France, August 9th, 1714. Heat hangs like a low roof over Paris. The August air is heavy, made heavier still by the sprawl of stone buildings, the reek of rotting food and human refuse. Okay, I'm going to keep reading this. Good morning, girly pops. Today is a very exciting day because today is the day that I'm going to be reading for 16 consecutive hours. I read for five hours straight. I got three hours in, forgot I had an appointment. And from there, I was like, okay, I need to do a crazy amount of hours consecutively or else this video is not impressive or a challenge at all. So I'm starting at around 9.45 a.m., which would mean in 16 hours, that would be 1.45 a.m., I believe. Also today, we're starting with Six of Crows because yes, I'm not going to finish The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue in this video. I will finish it. A lot of people are saying that they think it'll be a classic in a few hundred years, which would be really cool. It's right about to be 9.45, so let's start. Breakfast time. Okay, it is now 11. 45, so it's been two hours. Hasn't felt bad at all. I'm on page 95, but I thought it'd be fun to try to do my makeup while reading. I mean, makeup as in like concealer and powder. Let's see how well I, oh, not blended very well. Okay, it's actually pretty badly blended, actually. Two hours done, 14 to go. That doesn't sound too bad to me, actually. It is now 12.45. It's been three hours, and I'm now on page 136. 
It's now 1.45. That past hour flew by. Part three, heart sick. Page 185. I'm reading this book very slowly. That was the first hour that really flew. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm losing track of time a little bit now. It's 4.25, not quite an hour mark, but it would be seven hours. I did fall asleep for like 15 to 20 minutes. Not really sure. I'm only on page 286. I feel like this book is not a quick read. Definitely not a Colleen Hoover page turner. Well, I mean, it's kind of a page turner. It's just slower to read. This book's getting good. Okay, it's exactly seven hours now, and I just hit 300 pages. Just ate my lunch, and things just got spicy in this book. I still have 165 pages. Books this long are kind of overwhelming, but I feel like if I if I will like this fantasy genre, I'm gonna have to get used to this. Like Natalie Cole. I'm dizzy. Hour eight, baby. 5.45 p.m. Um, this was the hour where my brain, I was reading words and just really not understanding them. My eyes were starting to hurt a little bit. Brain hurts a little bit. I really want to crack open an energy drink, but I don't want to drink it too early because I still need energy for tonight and I'm not trying to have a heart attack. Maybe I'll wait till like 6.30 to open one. That sounds so late to drink an energy drink. 6.09 p.m. Okay, fine, I'll admit it. My brain hurts. My head hurts in like a funny way, like in a I've been trying to focus for over eight hours type of way, not like a headache type of way. It's very weird. Also, my sense of time or reality is very off. Like today is Saturday and I just was like, that just doesn't feel real. Anyway, page 361, nine hours complete. I just hit 400 pages and this book just got really good at 400 pages. But I figured I could be getting a tan. Ever thought about that? I didn't. I'm getting my hair done like a purpley color in my next video. So subscribe so you can see that. Turn on post notice. I have not asked y'all to do that in a really long time. 7 p.m. energy drink time. No, no, she's not. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I can read out loud for y'all. Let's see how many words you understand from the Grisha verse. Kaz had considered trying to eavesdrop on M Matthias and Brum in the barroom, but he didn't want to lose sight of Nina when there were so many Driscoll around. See it so much. I know, eavesdrop. Done. What time is it? 8.12. That was a thicky. Book number two done. What the crap balls. Sorry for my explicit expletives. What the freak? What the freak? What the freak? This isn't gonna be a book review video, but I'm gonna give this... <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna be I'm giving it a four out of five. Okay, it's 8 13. I've read for nearly 11 hours straight This book took so long to read bro. This was my reaction to like the last four chapters Let's start our last book What the freak? This challenge has strange side effects. This is me discovering that Verity is actually a thriller. And if you know me, I am a very sensitive soul, especially when it comes to nighttime. Like I've said previously, I hate nighttime and I was going to be way too scared out of my mind. I did read this after though, and I rated it five out of five. Totally recommend. Okay, girly pops, we've run into a little bit of a situation. I read the first chapter, um, so then I read the back. This is very much too dark for me to read in the middle of the night. So I was like, okay, there's a few options here. Barnes and Nobles have closed. Target only sells Nora Roberts. That lady has <laughs> written hundreds of romances. <laughs> um, so my only other option is I can call Lily, the girl who started this book obsession by lending me a book and see what kind of like happy romance she has. And I could go drive to her place, pick it up, come back. And this will mean that I'm gonna have to stay up later, like maybe three to 4 a.m. But you know, I'm willing to do that. So let's call Lily. Let's see what you got. I'm trying to think, I feel like 28 summers. I really yeah. like this book. That's good, that's perfect. Yay, thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna drive over there and pick them up. Yeah. Okay, bye. bye. Here we go, baby. Okay, my eyes were definitely a little blurry at first. Like, you know, when you are on TikTok for hours and then you look up and everything's a little blurry. And I have that pressure right here behind my eyes. It's now 9.44. I just got home with the two books in hand. Oh, let's discuss inside. I look rough. Okay, I'm gonna make a coffee. Okay, we got our coffee, we got our books. It's 10 p.m. Let's decide what we should read. 28 Summers by Elin Hildebrand. I just got distracted by the smell of farts. You're farting. 
I'm not. You've got to be. I'm not. Are you farting, Spock? Is it you? And then we have the proposal, Jasmine Goolery. And which one do you think is more cheesy? Take a guess, take a guess. Yeah, this one's probably more cheesy. So I looked them both up on Goodreads and I'm just gonna insert the charts above these two books. This one is definitely leaning on the three stars while this one has mostly five stars, but this one's like so much thicker. Lily did read this one and said it was pretty cheesy. What do you think, Ryan? I just choose the better one. Okay, let's read 28 Summers by Elin Hildebrand. I washed my face, it is exactly 10 p.m. Let's get started. It is now midnight. It's been two hours of reading, which total is uh, 13 hours. Wait, no, that'd mean I only have three left. Yeah, I only have three left. Only three more hours. Let's go. I'm on page 116. I'm not bored or excited. So at this point, something strange started happening. I found a gnat in my bra, and then I continued to see more and more gnats, and I was absolutely disgusted. So I moved. I look more and more tired as the time goes on. It's 2 a.m. and I'm on page 211. I feel like I'm not making much progress. And sometimes the words just don't make any sense. <laughs> My face. It's 3 a.m. I have officially read 16 hours. And I made it to page 250. This book is 